Welcome to the Republic of the Philippines. We have a lot of useful information for your next vacation. On a journey through this amazing country at Easy Trek 360. Our first destination is El Nido at Palawan, a paradise in the Pacific Ocean. From Manila, you can fly directly or take a six hour ride from Puerto Princesa for 500 Filipino pesos on the bus. There are basically five types of tours in El Nido, A, B, C, D, and Z, which consist of different expeditions through the islands. We took the Z Tour, a three-story boat full of fun and activities which is all-inclusive. It has a cost of 1,500 pesos. It sails at 11 a.m. and returns around 6.30 p.m. At each location during the trip, you can enjoy snorkeling, kayaking, standing paddleboard, or just relax in the clear warm waters of the Pacific Ocean. Alcohol is served and the first drink is included. The sightings for photography are amazing and the coral reefs in shallow waters are stunning. Nevertheless, make sure you have a floating device to avoid stepping on the coral formations, which destroys the ecosystem. The ocean water is calm, a perfect combination to enjoy your adventure to the max. It's been so amazing. Uh, the people are just beautiful and the place, the scenery is just unbelievable. It's been awesome. I just think if you're looking for somewhere that's warm and beautiful scenery with amazing food, El Nido is the place to go. Uh, we eat the street food every night and we obviously meet locals and tourists every night. And it's just an unbelievable place. Rain can be unpredictable particularly during the rainy season in October. So, to avoid getting wet by the rain, we jump it into the water. At the sandbar beach, we had an international volleyball game between the East and the West. The winning team will get the best seats to enjoy the wonderful sunset that will take your breath away. Finally, the ship sails only by moonlight to end this trip at the port. At El Nido Coco Bar, the sounds of a live rock music band will play after sunset, and the performances of the fire show will stun you. Another exciting experience is the scuba diving tours. There are many providers on the island. Paddy certifications are available. Prices are similar in all shops, between 4,000 and 4,500 pesos for three dives including all gear and lunch. At 9 a.m., the boat sails toward the first dive near the port, where you will practice the signals and get familiar with the equipment. You do not need to be certified to perform the discovery scuba diving. At the second location, you will see some marine life and coral reefs at about eight meters deep. After a short break, lunch is served on the beach at one of the islands. The quality of lunch varies from each scuba provider. At the third location, the waters are deeper and the corals are on a slope. Many of them are dead, possibly because of pollution and global warming, but more likely from vandalism by humans. After the third immersion, the boat returns to the port. Do not forget to get your diving log certification for your records. Bueno, eh, poquito puedo decir porque llevo muy pocos días, pero bueno, la primera impresión es muy buena, la gente es muy hospitalaria y te reciben con una sonrisa en la cara y bueno, es agradable. Every night you can taste a variety of international and local cuisine with accessible prices and enjoy the rhythms of live music. 15 minutes away in a motor taxi for 150 pesos one way, you can stay at Cabanas Beach where the waters are clean and shallow. Restaurants along the beach are available, but prices are slightly more expensive than in downtown. It is a great place to enjoy the sunset as well. From 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., the zip line is open for the right experience. Just tell your moto taxi driver to wait for you. He will take you through the track that will lead to the jumping area. Transportation will cost you 300 pesos round trip. Once you arrive at the site, you can choose between the Superman or sitting jump style. 
The cost is 900 pesos round trip for sitting. The view of the bay and the beach is gorgeous from the top. The zip line uses duo cables for your own safety. The arrival platform at the end is not as low as it should be. You will stop almost 20 meters before the landing stage. One of the attendees will come for you and will tow you to the arrival point. Then you will walk again to the high point of the island mountain and slide down to complete your return to land. You might have to walk a total of over one kilometer during this adventure going uphill and down to the beach to go back to the main road. It is lots of fun and affordable. El Nido is an enjoyable experience for the entire family. You will feel safe while you walk with your family on the beach or streets. To go back to Puerto Princesa, just take the bus at the terminal or a flight to Manila. The van will drop you off at your hotel in Puerto Princesa, home of the Underground River, which is the main attraction in this city. It has a cost of 1,800 pesos, including transportation from your hotel, permits, and lunch. It takes less than three hours to drive to this national park. The van will make a 15-minute stop for a bathroom break, where you can buy some souvenirs and food, or take some nice pictures of the backdrop sighting. Then it continues the ride arriving at the town of Sabang, where you wait for 20 minutes, meanwhile your tour guide purchases the park permits and the vessel transfer. At the boat terminal, the group sails for 10 minutes to the Underground River National Park entrance beach. Once all permits are clear, there is a short walk to the dock, where the ride on the canoe to this magnificent cave departs. The natural formation is over 24 kilometers long. The cave was discovered by geologists in 2010 and allows tourists to cruise up to four kilometers inside these large chambers of limestone formations. As soon as you enter this natural wonder, you rely only on the flashlights to see, otherwise it will be total darkness. Same as the cenotes of Chacatoon at the Playa del Carmen, Mexico. The smell of the bath drops is very strong. It has the smell of ammonia with marijuana. Keep your mouth closed to avoid swallowing any of the bad drops that could lead to serious infections or even death. The canoe guide will show you some of the natural formation figures that resemble animals, famous paintings, and religious representations alike. There is only one way in and out that will take you back to the dock. At that point, the boat will be waiting at the beach to return your group to the Sabang Dock. Perhaps it is a great moment to sing your favorite song, but not necessary. It is Suavecito. Lunch will be served buffet style, and you can eat as much as you like. After lunch, you can shop for souvenirs in the booth or for pearl bracelets or other mementos for your family and friends. Do not forget to ask for discounts. Locals have a tendency of going too high at first. Finally, the van will take you back to the hotel. Do not forget to tip everybody involved in the tour. Your money exchange has a lot of value and you can help everybody without affecting your budget. Yo considero que es un sitio que hay que venir un, a la aventura y no es el típico sitio que te vas a un resort a comer, a beber, y, sino que es un sitio de contraste, de aventura y de ver paisajes increíbles que nunca jamás una cámara de fotos ni una grabación puede dar fe a lo que uno ve por los ojos. A pesar de que hay calles que no tiene alfombrado, a pesar de que no, casi nos cae un poco la cabeza. <risa> Casi los caucos que nos mata lo de la seguridad relativo. Pero, pero, pero mira, muy bien, por, muy bien. Por, ahora bien, la muy bien, bien. por favor, haremos, no, que más, haremos una entrevista de bajo un poco. Pero, muy bien, muy bien. Upon your arrival at the International Airport Terminal 3, the immigration process is quick and easy. No visa is required if traveling from the United States. 
Once you exit, the airport taxi will be on your left side near the sidewalk. Just get your ticket from the attendee. The local currency in Philippines are pesos. One dollar is equal to 51 pesos during the production of this video, making your money worth more and able to enjoy fine restaurants and shopping from high-end malls at BGC or the Mall of Asia, the biggest commercial center in the Philippines. Oh my God, this is like walking into a candy store. Instead of candy, lots of chews. Always check for sales. Maybe you will get lucky and visit at just the right moment during your stay. I've been here for uh, 14 months. So I'm a teacher at an uh, international school. So it's a good city to live in. Yeah. It's a good place, especially if you're going out to the islands. So if you have to transit through Manila, come into the city for a couple of days to have a look around, eat some food. So it's a nice place. Manila has a big contrast between a modern metropolitan city and high levels of poverty. It is sad to see so many families and young girls living on the streets unprotected and exposed to abuse and hunger. Perhaps we cannot change this planet, but at least try to help as many people as we can during our stay, not only in the Philippines, but at any destination worldwide. For many of us, it is tough to travel overseas and enjoy the wonders of our planet. But our lives are in much better shape than millions of humans living in extreme poverty on this crazy planet. The traffic in Manila is crazy all day and night. The MRT provides quick access during non-peak hours, taking you to your destination faster for 13 pesos each way. Taxis are very affordable. A few of them will try to charge you a fixed higher rate without metering. Just walk away and take the next taxi. Most drivers will speak English. You can buy a SIM card for Wi-Fi access for your cell phone, which are very inexpensive. Uber drivers cost almost the same price as a taxi, but the service is outstanding. Manila does not have too many landmarks to visit. The most important site is the Intramuros, which means within the walls. Built by the Spanish conquest during the colonial period in the 16th century. It was the center of religion, education and economy in Manila. For 800 pesos a tour on a motor truck around the area is available. Or just walk to each location. The fortress of Santiago has a cost of 75 pesos for entry. Inside the citadel, the museum staff will provide you with a history lecture of the Philippines. There are no beaches in Manila. The nearest beach is about an hour away from the city. However, the Mall of Asia will keep you busy with lots of restaurants and shopping. Night life in Manila is exciting for locals and tourists. Nightclubs are located in exclusive areas. Adult leisure and entertainment are found on Burgos Street. For salsa music lovers, there are several locations with amazing dancers. Bachata and Kisumba seems to be very popular in Manila. My name is Melo. My name is Aya. I'm Filipino. I'm Japanese. I do teaching also um, salsa, bachata and kisumba. While exploring the city, we met Lilette from a province far from Manila while she was looking for small fish. She represents a clear example of the kindness and welcoming of the Filipino people. She is a beautiful girl with a great heart. We felt very safe walking late at night in different areas with no problems. On the other hand, the pollution is very bad. The MRT breaks all the time and the saturation of the old jeepneys are key factors for the contamination and traffic. Ah, le recomiendo visitar Intramuros. A mí me gustó mucho la catedral, el convento. Yo creo que es un lugar turístico muy, 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 muy bonito para conocer. We highly recommend to visit to the Philippines for your next vacation. A place that is well worth your time. Explore the world through the lens of my camera without advertisement and corporate influence. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel and to feel free to share your own experiences with other tourists from around the world. This is Easy Track 360. Let's go!